raise the state pension age to 70 and shake up the pension system for millions of public sector workers. That's a stark warning from Lord Turner, who wrote a radical report for the government four years ago. Speaking exclusively to BBC News, he says he wishes he'd gone further with his recommendations. Our chief economics correspondent, Hugh Pym, reports. Our working lives seem to be getting longer and longer. The government says the state pension age will rise in a few decades' time to 68, but it should rise to 70, according to a leading pensions expert. That's none other than Lord Turner, who came up with radical recommendations nearly four years ago. The government accepted them. Now, in an exclusive interview, he's come back to the pensions issue. Rather than 68 for the state pension age, he told me he should have gone further. There were proposals around at the time that you might take the state pension age to, say, 70 by as early as 2030, and that if you did that, you could afford to simply have a state pension which would be uh, fully equal to the minimum income guarantee. Having seen what I, I, I've seen, uh, I would probably say, if anything, we should have been more radical. The idea of waiting till 70 before getting a state pension has provoked mixed reactions. I think you should have the choice after 65. I don't think it should be compulsory. I just think it's unkind and unnecessary if you've worked all your life. If that's what it is, that's what it is. I think you know, can't, can't argue with it. If you have to work till 70 to survive, you've got to do, got to do survive, I suppose. There is a perception that people who work up there in Whitehall and across the wider civil service and public sector have pension deals which are too generous when compared to most in the private sector. Guaranteed final salary pensions underwritten by the taxpayer are seen by critics as increasingly unfair and unaffordable. Yeah. Nurses, doctors, teachers and many other workers are covered. Around 5.2 million public sector staff are in these pension schemes. On one estimate, it costs the taxpayer £14 billion a year after taking account of contributions. Lord Turner says to make the system more affordable, there should be no guaranteed retirement age of 65 for the public sector. It should have uh, flexible, variable, uh, pensionable ages to make sure that the taxpayer is not picking up all of the risk of future unknown increases uh, in pensionable age. But unions say that idea will penalise hard-working staff across the public services. People working in our communities to make them better, they're the ones who've got to suffer. It's just not on. And I'm willing to sit down with the day turner in a proper meeting. I'm willing to trade facts and show him that he's barking up the wrong tree. It's a debate which affects everybody in work and it'll run and run. Hugh Pym, BBC News.